and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm sharing another week of school lunch inspiration. So if you're new here, my name is Jennifer, and on this channel, I like to share a lot of food-related videos. I do kid-friendly cooking recipes, grocery hauls, and I also do DIY and organizational videos as well. So if you like those kind of videos, make sure to hit that red subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Okay guys, so I wanted to answer a couple of questions from last week's video before I get started. First off, I totally know that school lunch packing is not a new idea. So many moms and dads across the country are packing lunches every single day. But on these videos, I'm sharing my perspective on school lunch because it's a little bit different. My kids are what I like to call hybrid homeschoolers. So several days a week they're at home with me, and other days they actually attend a public school. So we get the best of both worlds, I'm hoping. So that means some days I send them with a lunch and other days we eat lunch at home or at the park or at gymnastics, things like that. Now I also understand that because school lunch packing is an ongoing endeavor, a lot of times moms and dads can get burnt out and have a hard time coming up with new ideas. So that's exactly what I'm hoping to do through my videos. Share ideas, techniques, products that you can use to make your school lunches fun and exciting for kids. Now without further ado, let's get started. Hi guys, and welcome to Monday. I hope your weekend was awesome. I think I spent most of my weekend painting walls in my kids' room. But now we're back to Monday, and that means school lunches. Now we got so many awesome comments from you guys on my last video that I couldn't wait to start again this week with more school lunch ideas. Now today I have kind of a standard school lunch, you know, PB&J, fruit and vegetables, but I tried to make it a little bit more fun for the kids as well. Oh yes, I'm also packing a snack today, so I think I'll start with that. The same thing, I just have a few of these little cheddar sandwich crackers. I get these ones from Trader Joe's, they're actually really good. And they do make these in peanut butter as well, although my kids really prefer the cheese ones. Now in the actual lunch, starting off, I have some cucumbers. Now these are the mini cocktail cucumbers that I get from Costco. They're really small and cute. And I find that these ones, um, they're not bitter. You know, some cucumbers can be bitter, and kids definitely don't like that. So I like these little cute ones. And I went ahead and cut them with my Pampered Chef crinkle cutter, just to make them a little bit more fun. And I'm serving them with this cute little pick to pick them up with, because I think the kids would think that that's really fun to do. Now to go with the cucumbers, I'm also serving a little bit of ranch. Now, I had so many questions on how I make my homemade ranch that I'm planning to make a separate video about that. So if you guys are curious, watch for that video. I'm also serving some cut up pears today and a yogurt. Well, this is actually just a yogurt tube from Trader Joe's and it just fits perfectly right in the box like that. And then we have the PB&J. But today I'm trying something new. I found this Basically, it's an Uncrustable Maker, but this is from the Wonder Bread Company, and you can make your own little Uncrustable sandwiches. So I'll show you how I did that. So just like any PB&J, I've got peanut butter on one side and jam on the other, and then I just use this little press. This has two pieces. The larger white piece actually cuts the crust off the sandwich, and the smaller red piece helps to seal the sandwich together. And that is all for today, you guys. The kids are gonna take their water bottles as well. I'll go ahead and package these up, and then later today, I will show you what they ate. Okay, guys, so we're back home now, and it is just past two o'clock. So I'll go ahead and start with Mackenzie's. This is Mackenzie's. And it looks like she ate all of her snack. I knew she would. She loves those cheese crackers. And then in here, let's see. It looks like she did, she ate everything. It's all gone. The cucumbers, the sandwich. Gosh, what else did she have? Oh, pears, they're all gone. Let's see the ranch. Oh, she barely touched her ranch. That's like shocking. But she ate her cucumbers, which is the most important part to me. So she did really well. Now for Jackson, let's see, his snack is gone. Uh, oh, yeah, she had a yogurt too, and that's gone. It looks like he ate his yogurt, and there are just two little pieces of cucumber left, so not too bad. I'm not sure why he couldn't just finish it, but let's see. 
His ranch is pretty much gone, his pears are gone, and his sandwich is completely gone. I would say that those homemade Uncrustables were a hit. They did really well with those. Now I'm on to Lily's, and she did eat all of her snacks, so that's good. And dig into here. I can see that she did her normal thing. <laughs> she normally doesn't eat a whole lot, and definitely I won't be packing her a whole sandwich next time. She did eat all of her ranch, like almost lick it clean, <laughs> the ranch. And I'm really shocked that she ate all of her cucumbers. That's great. And she still has a couple of pieces of pear, but in all honesty, this pear was a little bit crunchy still, so maybe tomorrow she'll like the pears better. So overall, I think they did pretty good. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday. I'm running late this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you really quickly what I packed for the kids. Now, the older two kids are attending a nut-free campus today, so all of the lunches are actually nut-free today. And I'm also giving the thermoses another try. We used them last week and they worked out really well, but today I packed some meatballs with barbecue sauce. Now I went ahead and started by filling up the thermoses with hot boiling water first while I heated up the meatballs. I just put the meatballs in the microwave and heated them up as I normally would. But in a separate container, I heated up the barbecue sauce as well, and I got that really piping hot. When everything was ready, I dumped the water out of the thermos, put in my meatballs and my barbecue sauce, and then I screwed the lid on tight. So we'll see, I'll ask the kids how warm they are when they actually dig in. Now, other than that, I did kind of a snacky lunch here. We have some cheese that I made into some really cute little heart shapes. We have more cucumbers just like yesterday. I'm really trying to use them all up before they go bad. And then to go with that, I have a little container of ranch, my kids' favorite thing for veggies. Now with our lunch today, I also packed a juice. My kids love the juice, but I try not to give it to them every day. But today they're having the apple grape. And for their little treat, I packed a fruit leather. This is the apple wild berry from Trader Joe's. And also in their lunch, I packed a fig bar. These actually have two inside, and these are really good whole grain, and there are actual figs inside the fig bar. Now, of course, the kids will also be packing their water bottles, but that is pretty much it. Oh, I did remember their spoons. We have the spoon-fork-knife combo right in there. So I'll go ahead and package these up, and then when we get back home, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, it is now after school on Tuesday and I just had to send all the kids in the backyard because they were being super loud and I really wanted to show you this before I clean it up. So, starting with Mackenzie's, let's see. It looks like she ate everything. So she ate her cucumber, she ate her cheese, she ate most of her ranch, that's pretty good. I see that her fruit, uh, fruit leather's gone, her apple, her grape juice is gone. Let's see how she did with her meatballs. Uh-oh, there's still two meatballs in here, and I only sent her with five. Now, I forgot to ask them if it stayed warm. Let me, let me go find out. Okay, sorry about that. I just popped my head out in the backyard to ask them, were your meatballs hot? And they said, yes, they were still hot. Not too hot, just right. So that's great, except she didn't eat two of them, and I think I only sent her with five, so that's not the best. Moving on to Jackson's, let's see. Let's turn it around here. Okay, in here, uh-oh, I feel a lot, oh no, he didn't do very well at all. He didn't eat any of his cucumbers, but the ranch is gone. That's, or the ranch is almost gone. That's weird, I wonder what he ate the ranch with. So uh, yeah, I don't think he ate any cucumbers, and he didn't eat his little, what, fig bar, blueberry fig bar. He did eat all of his cheese. I see he ate his, oh, oh, <laughs> what a sticky mess. His little wrapper. I'm gonna have to ask him to uh, throw away his garbage next time. And let's, oh, I feel like this is empty. He did eat all of his meatballs, so that's good. I'm gonna have to <laughs> work on him with those veggies, though. Okay, moving on to Lily's. Let's see how she did. Uh-oh, this is not empty. She still has, oh, she only has one. But I only sent her with four, so that's just okay. Let's 
see. She did eat all, almost all of her ranch. And, uh-oh, there's one little cheese left. There's two little cucumbers, oh, three cucumbers left. And she only took about two bites of her little fig blueberry bar. So, not the best today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Now normally I would tell you good morning, but it's not morning anymore. It's actually lunchtime, because on Wednesdays we eat lunch at home, usually. So I'll go ahead and show you what I made, but pardon the noise from the dishwasher, you guys. It's like right here, and it's kind of loud, so sorry about that. Now today, my kids are having a little wedge of watermelon, some cottage cheese, a few black olives, and this is a pizza quesadilla. I'll show you how I made it. These are really quick to throw together and my kids love them. It's basically just a tortilla. Now I get the uncooked ver It's basically just a tortilla. Now I get the uncooked variety from Costco, so I have to cook it first, but it's no big deal. To that I add a little bit of marinara sauce, some mozzarella cheese, and some turkey pepperoni. Once the cheese is melted, I just fold it up, cut it up, and it's ready to serve. So next to our pizza quesadilla, I have a tiny little Rice Krispie treat because I only had one left and I didn't want my kids to argue over it. So I went ahead and cut it into fours and you can guess what happened to the fourth Rice Krispie bite. That's right, it was for me. So Jackson has the same exact thing and then Lily also has the same except I only put three little pieces of quesadilla on hers. So it's kind of a lot of food for her, but I'm gonna to try to get her to eat it anyway. That way she won't be hungry before dinner. Okay guys, we just finished up with lunch and here's how we did. Overall, I'd say pretty well. Mackenzie ate all of her food and Jackson also ate all of his food, although he informed me that he does not like Rice Krispie treats. So I'm not sure if he ate it or if he gave it to his sister, but it's gone. So no crispy treats for him. I'll eat his, that's fine. Lily, however, did her usual, her usual. She only ate one piece out of the three of the pizza dia that I made them, or pizza dilla, whatever you wanna say. She ate most of her watermelon, most of her cottage cheese, and she ate all of her olives. So overall, pretty good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys and happy Thursday. Let me show you what I'm packing for my kids today. First off, I have these little applesauce cups, but they're actually apple strawberry. And just so you guys know, these fit perfectly inside the little Ziploc lunch boxes. I just have them turned around so that you guys can actually see what they are. But before I close them up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn them around. They just fit perfectly. Now to go with that, I also packed some diced up pears some ranch and some broccoli. Now today's broccoli is fresh broccoli, so I don't know how, how well they'll do with that. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. Yeah, I hope you do, because broccoli's good for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then today I have a special sandwich, because I made these sandwiches today with some bagel thins. Now I really like the bagel thins because they're a little bit more dense than regular bread, and they don't get as soggy as regular bread. So I just took a bagel thin, I put a thin layer of mayonnaise and mustard, some sliced cheddar cheese, some honey ham, and then I closed it up. And then I went ahead and cut them in half because it just fits perfectly inside this little container. And then I added this cute little pick. And when you stick it in the sandwich, it keeps all of the layers of the sandwich together. Just in case their lunchbox goes rolling in their backpack, the sandwich is not gonna fall apart. So I think that is everything that I packed today. I'll probably also give them a granola bar for their snack. And of course, they'll take their water as well. Okay guys, we're back home now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we're left with, starting with Mackenzie's. Let's see. Oh, she ate everything. Good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. What was your favorite part? I the sandwich. The sandwich? Oh, well you like the bagel bread? Yeah. That bagel bread is really good. I'm a big fan. She also ate her broccoli and her applesauce and yeah, she ate everything. Good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. Now on to Jackson's. Jackson, did you eat everything? Oh. He ate his strawberry applesauce, his broccoli, his all of your pears are gone, that's good. 
He ate all of his ranch and I just see a few little broccoli stems in there. So pretty good, Jackson. And then for Lily's, let's see. Lily, I see some things left over. Let's see, she did eat her applesauce. That's good. Uh-oh, I hear the baby. She left a little bit of her sandwich, but I only gave her a half, so that's not the best. She ate one or two pears, all of her broccoli, which I'm shocked she ate all of her broccoli, and looks like all of the ranch. So Jackson, overall. Jackson and Lily like drinking the ranch. They like drinking the ranch? Yeah. Oh no. They just like eating the broccoli plate. Okay, I gotta go guys, but tomorrow I have a very special lunch plan, something that I've never packed for you before. Good morning guys and happy Friday. I have Lily with me here helping me pack lunches. Can you say hi? Hi. So we are about to head out the door, but before I do that, I'll go ahead and show you what I packed. Now today I'm trying something different. I don't know if the kids will like it or not. Today I'm packing cereal for lunch. Does it look good? Did you try the cereal before? Yeah. Yeah, these are the pumpkin O's, which are a lot like Cheerios, but the pumpkin variety. So, we'll see how that goes over. We have the pumpkin O's on this side and some mandarin oranges on that side. I'm also packing a milk. This is nice and cold from my fridge, but this is actually shelf stable milk, so it's fine if it doesn't stay cold, it's totally fine. So I told the kids to use your straw, poke a hole right here, and then squeeze the milk in there. Make yourself a bowl of cereal. So, they may like it, I'm not quite sure. Sounds good to me though. Of course, I also included a spoon today. And in this little container, I have something new as well. These are little pepperoni bites. Now my kids normally love pepperoni, so I'm thinking that they're gonna like these. So in these guys, I have just the same thing, except I have a little bit less in Lily's. Lily, does this look like enough food for you? Mm -hmm. Do you think your tummy's gonna be full? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and package these up, and then when we get home, I will show you what we ended up with. Oh yes, and one more thing before I sign off, because I'll probably get a lot of questions on the container. These containers are actually the Target store brand. Now normally, I like to use the Ziploc ones, or the Sistema ones, but they wouldn't really fit in the configuration today. So I'm trying out these new smaller Target brand ones, and I just have to say that these guys are not, they're already not my favorite. They break really easily, and the lid is actually kind of hard to get off, so I don't know if my preschooler will be able to do it by herself, but. So yeah, definitely not my favorite lunch container. But we're gonna give it a try anyway. Okay guys, we're back home now, so I can show you what we ended up with, starting with Mackenzie's. Now today, the kids and I actually had lunch together at the park, so I was able to help them open up their containers. Let's see, we have an ice pack. So in Mackenzie's, she ate all of her cereal and all of her oranges. She ate all of her little pepperoni bites. What else do we have in here? Her milk is gone, she drank all of her milk. And that, I think that was everything. Now for Jackson's and Lily's, it's pretty much the same thing. I did end up sending them with a juice. So let's see, Jackson's, he ate all of his pepperoni and he ate all of his cereal and his oranges. And same with Lily. But I do have to say the milk and the cereal was a little bit messy, but not too bad. And I don't think today I packed enough food. I don't think that they were left hungry by any means. They were okay. But as soon as we got home, they wanted more to eat. So we did that. As soon as they got home, I let them finish these pepperoni bites. I almost gave each of the kids a whole package of these, but I thought that would be too much. But it seems like that would have been perfect amount. So next time I'll probably give them an entire package in their lunch. So. Overall, really good. I think they like the cereal. I would definitely pack cereal again, but just more of it. Okay friends, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, could you please give it a big thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, because I don't know if you can tell, but I really like packing school lunches, and I can't wait to share more ideas with you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.